The project began with um, a conversation between myself and the writer Nick Soltris, who I, whose work I'd admired for a long time and who I was introduced to by some mutual friends and we shared a we both shared a love of shark movies you know the idea of creating something that appeals internationally that has that has global appeal and um, we uh, we thought that we could do that with a shark movie with very well um, very well drawn characters in exotic surroundings that uh, present a, a fun movie for what are currently difficult times and we hope it will bring um, a lot of excitement and fun to people well i suppose i was a fan of jaws and the genre and I um, wanted to write my own shark movie. And we were talking about other projects. And one of the things Andy asked me when we first met was, did I have a pitch for a shark movie? And I had a pitch, I showed it to him and he liked it and we wrote the script. You know, when you find a good writer, the best collaborations between writers and directors are that they work together. And with Nick, he's very easy to work with from day zero. So it was a case of, working out what we can afford to do, what are the parameters of COVID, what's going to make the script better. And it, it comes down to just having a good cast that can really deliver those lines. And if you believe it, then you're along for the ride. So the look of the film, we, me and James spoke a lot about it and he was very keen on having it feel expensive and defy its budget, etc. But essentially we were shooting a jet ski on the sea. I had all sorts of plans to how to light it, how to maintain continuity, etc., etc plans that went out the window very quickly when the reality of shooting at sea hit. Um, so we had a few references, but we were very much appreciated. Essentially, it was a chamber piece with a jet ski in the sea and three or four people. We were prepared to roll with the punches and let the look develop on its own rather than set too much in stone before. I mean, we looked at things like the shallows and jaws and the classic shark movies like that. So it was very clear from the conception of the project and knowing our budget and restrictions and etc there was never going to be a sort of huge name uh, to bring to this project it was always going to be kind of about the shark and then that really gave me some leeway to find some really great talent to actually be our leads with the process of covid it actually it kind of helped but it also made a lot more workload for me in that a lot of people wanted to work a lot of people wanted to get away from london come and make this movie ジャイロ生活最後の恐怖と裏切りが交錯する。絶対絶望サバイバルスリラー。